guys. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Kevin Murphy Color Bugs. Ah! So exciting! If you guys don't know what these are, these are hair chalks. Really, really, really good quality hair chalk, so they say. I'm going to test that out today and see if that's actually true. I have both purple and shimmer color bugs, and I bought the purple for a possible New Year's Eve look, um, but I think I'll save it for another time. Today I'm going to be using the shimmer bug, which is supposed to give your hair the look of highlights. So I'm super excited to see what this is gonna look like. I'm also a little bit scared because I don't know if this is gonna look the way that I envision it in my mind. Well, I envision it two ways, really dope or really like whack, so, so whack. So we're gonna see which way this goes. So just right off the bat, these are really hard to find. You can look online to see which salon sells them in your area, but I found a lot of the salons in my area, either one, don't have any in stock, two, don't have a lot of colors, or three, they'll say, well, we don't have any, but we can order. So your best bet is to go and get them from eBay, which is what I had to do for the shimmer bug, because this one is like, this one's really hard to find. Um, the purple ones, they also have pink, and I believe they have an orange one, are a little bit easier to find, and you can get them through Amazon. Yeah, I mean, because you're buying them through Amazon and eBay, you're buying them from personal sellers, so the price ranges can vary. Um, I doubt you're gonna get it for less than $10, um, so they're a little expensive, especially since it's like one color. It's not like other hair chalks where you're getting like a ton in a package. Um, but then again, they do boast that these are really high quality and they're made by a professional stylist. So you're basically paying for the name and the quality. So price point's a little high, but I want to see if it's worth the money. Wipe on, wash out, intense color in seconds. Change your hair color as quick as your makeup. I'm a little nervous. So instructions. Place a towel around your shoulders to protect your clothes from possible spillage. Just use an old towel so you don't get all your good ones all messed up. I would recommend that if you're doing, um, you know, hair chalks or anything like that, that have to be washed out the next day or in a, within a couple of days. If you have hair like mine, maybe you don't want to do it on fresh hair since it does take so long to wash your hair. It's probably something fun to do right before your next wash cycle since you're going to be washing your hair anyway. So yeah, my hair is a dry twist out on old hair. Ah, so excited! Using the color pad. This is really pretty. This looks like a freaking gold pimp ring. <laughs> like, I feel like I should have this on here and just like be like, never mind, that's not appropriate. All right, using the color pad, rub onto completely dried hair where you want the color to show. So I want an ombre. So I'm gonna start, oh my God, on the bottom. And I'm basically, let me just face this way, basically putting it against the hair chalk and rubbing it on. Ah! Oh my God. Oops, my desk is getting messy here. Massage into your hair to ensure the product is thoroughly worked through and evenly spread. So I'm just gonna massage it in. This is definitely lighter. Look at the difference. This is so cool! I love this! This is dope! All right, I'm gonna do this again, guys. I'm just basically using my thumb and pressing it in and then rubbing it down. Probably gonna bring the ombre to about my chin level so let's just so again you can see that this is awesome oh I'm definitely doing this again I don't care if this only lasts a day I don't care how expensive this is this looks dope oh my god <laughs> um to make this ombre look a I'm sorry I can't even contain my excitement right now <laughs> I'm so stoked right now okay Halasha with me, woosa, woosa. Well, my hands are so gold, it's like gold finger over here. I'm just gonna blend it up so that there's not like a harsh line. Yeah, that looks really pretty. See the difference in color? All right, I'm gonna do another strand. Yo, this is fun, son. Oh my God, my desk is a mess though. Seriously guys, you need to have, um, you need to have towels down, this is a mess. Oh, my desk. Ugh. I have to get more towels. I just covered the entire area with towels. They say protect your shirt. They don't say anything about protecting your workspace. What I like about this is that it, it really does look natural. You know, it takes away a little bit of the shine in my hair because it's covering it with chalk, but it doesn't look chalky. You know what I mean? It looks like this is like my hair color. This is so cute. 
Now, I don't know if I'm going too far up with this. Let me just keep it. You guys, this is so much fun. You have to try this. And what's really nice about this is that it's, I'm not committing, you know what I mean? I can wash this right out while well, I hope I can. We'll see. Okay, so here's one con already. I'm only like in one quarter of my hair and I'm already hitting the pan, so. I mean, I have a lot of hair, but I think that's a little ridiculous for the amount of money that I paid for this that I can only like, this is probably gonna be only enough for my entire head. I'm not gonna be able to reuse this, which is annoying. So now that I know that, I'm gonna try and go a little bit easier on uh, how much I put on here because I really wanna make sure I can do my whole head. I'm gonna do the other side. Just keep it at small sections. When I try to do bigger sections, it isn't distributing as evenly. So if you want this to look really authentic, stay with small sections because it's a little obvious now. It's all blotchy. <gasps> wow, this is so cute. So I just finished this whole side of my head. Yeah, my hands are a serious mess right now. I'm almost like totally out of chalk and I still have to do the top. So I'm gonna try and do the top here. Everything that I touch is getting chalk on it. Try and give it some sort of a style here. Just kind of putting it on and then dragging it up. See the pan? I'm like having to go around the edges now. Now I gotta do this side. Nothing left. This is ridiculous. Okay, so it's really getting hard to get out of the pan now. <laughs> Not so much fun anymore. It's becoming a pain in my tuchus. And also because it's so hard to get out, it's starting to look splotchy. Definitely recommend if you're gonna try this at home, Start it with the hair in the front first. You'll get the most heavy concentration of color where you want it in the in the front of your head so you don't look crazy. So I just finished the other side of my hair. I, I really don't have a lot of chalk left. Like it's, it's basically all tucked into the corner of the color bug and it's really hard to get out. And that's super annoying because, um, you know, the color isn't as even in the front as I would like it to be. Also, the fact that it's all tucked into the corner like this means I really have to press my hair into the corner and this is messing up my twist out, which means that if my twist out is messed up and my hair gets fuzzy, coupled with the fact that there's chalk on it, it just makes it look a lot drier than it needs to be. But overall, I, I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I'll show you how it looks in the bathroom where the light's a little better. Okay, let's talk. Some pros about this color bug. It looks realistic. It looks like I really dyed my hair light brown, have that ombre effect. It's not drying at all. So overall, this is, I love the outcome. I love how it looks. It's a really great product. Some cons though, it's super expensive, especially for the fact that I can only use it once. It's really messy, but I mean, that goes with all hair chalks. Even though the product doesn't dry out my hair, my hair ends up looking dry because I have to stuff it in the corners. You know, a lot of product is wasted in the corners too because I just can't get it out. Also another con is that it's not, it's not easy to find. I think this is a product of Australia and maybe it's easier to find over there, but honestly, if you're in the States, it's, this is very hard product to get. It took me a long time to research a, a good seller to purchase it from. So if you're gonna buy these online and you're going through eBay, just make sure that you're going through PayPal so that if something happens, your money will be refunded. Yeah, overall, I really love this product. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and show you this in that light. normal setting when I do hair tutorials so I just want to show you the difference in here with this lighting. I took off my towel and I put on this old black cardigan um, just to protect my shirt because I don't want I don't know what's gonna happen with this chalk. And all of that ombre it looks so good. The only thing is that again yeah I ran out of color so the back is a little bit um there's like a spot somewhere over here that's like kind of black still but it's fine. Like I said this is Dope! I love it! It's the bomb diggity diggity diggity! This is the kind of thing where I have to kind of see what it does throughout the day and since I'm planning on leaving it in my hair, I want to know what it does tomorrow. So I'm going to be checking in throughout the day and let you know how it goes. So it's been about 
six hours. It's not as vibrant. It looks a little bit more ashy, but I think that's just my normal hair throughout the day my twist out becomes a little bit fluffier and a little bit more frizzy I don't think that's the product's fault. I think that's just because of my hair texture So it's holding up pretty well turns out that this stuff really only transfers if I touch my hair and then like I'll get a little bit of shimmer on my fingers and then just a little tiny bit on the um, Seam of my cardigan and that's really it. I want to see if I can stretch this to another day I'm going to just do two loose twists just to preserve this and kind of stretch it out a little bit. I'm just gonna put my satin scarf on and go to bed and I will show you what it looks like in the morning. It's day two and I actually, I really like it a lot better today. I mean, I liked it yesterday, but I really love it today. Absolutely no chalkiness whatsoever. There's very little yesterday, but today it's like non-existent. The ombre effect is so much more softer today as the chalk had time to settle into the hair. It just looks a lot more realistic. I really like it. I don't even want to wash it out. It's so pretty and it looks so natural today. All right. Day three, uh, last night I decided to just go ahead and wash the chalk completely out of my hair. Let's take a look. So as you can see, all the chalk is completely out of my hair. It's back to being dark brown. It's not dry, it's not compromised in any way, shape or form. And it, it looks totally normal, like nothing ever happened. All the chalk came out really easy. All in all, I'd have to say that my experience with the Kevin Murphy color bugs was awesome. Would I do it again? Definitely. It was so much fun. It was really nice to like get a change of pace with my hair, to have a new color, you know, something different, even if it was temporary, even if it was just for like a couple of days, you know. I would definitely recommend this for anybody who wants to experiment with hair color, but they don't want something permanent. It's great for anybody who maybe wants to test out a specific hair color, you know, before you commit with a permanent dye. I've always wanted to do the ombre look and I've always wondered what it would look like on me. So now I know. I, I kind of got it out of my system, but not really. I, I totally would do it permanent dye. Like that it was so much fun. I Loved it. These color bugs will run you between $18 to $30, which is insane. Like for one color that you can only use one time and that lasts maybe a week. I can stretch it out maybe a week. Um, that's a lot of money. A lot of fun, um, but maybe it's for some special occasions or if you're really like just want something different. There's definitely other hair chalks on the market that are less expensive that can give you those bright purples and pinks and blues and orange and whites and, and greens and that kind of thing if you're looking for that. But as far as having a really nice natural highlight color, the only one that I could find out there on the internet was the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Bug. It, there's really nothing like it as far as hair chalks out there. I haven't really tried any of the other hair chalks. If you guys want me to try maybe a less expensive one, let me know in the comments below. I'll see what, what I can find that's of a good quality. But as far as hair chalks go, this is really cool. I really enjoyed the experience. You guys can go out and have fun, color your hair, and not worry about it being dry or damaged or, or anything with these hair chalks. It's really, really, really fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this first impression review. View, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Zara's currently having this huge winter sale. You know I couldn't pass that up. Come check out what I hauled along with Target and the Origins Body Store over my style channel. And on my vlog channel, we find answers to the world's most intriguing questions. Why does Nickelback suck? I'm just kidding. But really, why? Click the link to the right to check it out. I'll see you guys there. <laughs>